The $1 bills in this video you're about to see are indeed 100% genuine, real examples of bills that sold online for a ton of money. You don't want to miss any single bill I go over because you could have one and if you come across one, you need to know how to go about selling them because it's so important not to get scammed and ripped off. But let's look at this $1 bill that sold for $2,640. Now I'd be very surprised if someone was able to find out why just by looking at the bill it sold for this much money. I'll I want you to pause the video and tell me why down below. And if you don't know, say, I'm not sure. And after I tell you right now, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that seems so obvious. But here we go. I'm about to tell you. So leave that comment down below. But here's why. So this bill was graded by PMG at a 55. That means there is at least one fold and a couple bends on this bill. So here's the thing. This bill has what collectors call a mismatched block error. So if you look at the suffix letter, which is the last letter of the serial number, the bottom left has an E and the top right has an I. Those should be the same letter, but they're not. If you have one like this, keep your eyes peeled because they could be worth tons of money, just like this $1 bill that's over 2,640 bucks. So is this bill real? Yes, 100%. This is what collectors call a test note error, and it's over $3,000. So the thing here is when they're warming up the printers at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, what they'll do is they'll flood out the entire sheet to make sure that the ink is coming down evenly and there is enough ink in the wells to fully cover cover these bills. I think these are incredibly cool. Now you have to watch out because there are people out there that will try to manipulate and do something similar to this when in reality, a company like PMG or PCGS is easily going to be able to tell you that this is indeed a genuine error note. Now this bill should not have gotten out of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, but it did on accident. And that's why it sold for $3,000. If you have one, keep it very safe. Same thing here, but it's on the back of the bill that they flooded out the plate to see if that green ink was working well. And it was, but it accidentally got out of the facility and it sold for 2,880 bucks. One of my favorite types of errors, this bill sold for $4,465. Now what happened here is a few things. First, you need to understand what the printing process is. I'll make this as simple as possible. So they have these sheets of paper and the first print is the back of the bills. So you can see the back was printed and then this tape was put on there. Next, the front of the bill is produced. You can see which areas is the second print because you can see George Washington's face there is fully printed below that obstruction. And the last print is the overprint. So this tape and cardboard or whatever this is got stuck on the bill sometime after the second print and before the third print. What you need to know is that if you have a bill like this, do not remove that obstruction as tempting as it may be because it will decrease the value of your $1 bill. Retained obstruction errors are worth a lot more money than obstructions that do not have the retained objects still there. If you have one, make sure you keep it very safe because this one sold for $4,000 $465. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely enjoy the video on the screen. I will see you in the next one.